Dear all, welcome to the lecture series of Power System Protection. In this video, I will be discussing the overcurrent relay and the time current characteristics of overcurrent relay. Before starting the session, I have one request to everyone. If the content of this channel is useful, I request everyone to subscribe this channel and also kindly share with your friends and colleagues. Without wasting time, let's begin with the session. First of all, we will understand what do we mean by overcurrent relay and how about the overcurrent protection. You know that if the load current is very much high, that will be really harmful to the circuit elements. If the overloading is more means more amount of current flows to the circuit, definitely the components which are connected to the circuit is getting damaged. So to overcome that issue, we have to have overcurrent relay for any type of circuit and any type of system. So first of all let us assume that there is a preset value. Preset value means it is a safest value of current. So suppose if the load, uh, suppose when you connect a load, if the load end exceeds the preset value, definitely relay is going to operate. Such type of relays are known as overcurrent relay. There are different type of overcurrent relay such as electromechanical overcurrent relay, numerical type overcurrent relay, static type overcurrent relay. Numerical overcurrent relay will be having a program based on the program it, go, it is going to operate. Where electromechanical based overcurrent relay works based on the settings. We need to have some PS, some PS, some initial settings should be required. And also it, uh, there, is, there are moving parts in case of electromechanical relay. So overcurrent relay which is inculcated in different construction and a different structure. And also we need to know the uh, what is a pickup value. The, so beyond once the load the pickup value obviously relay is going to operate. That means overcurrent relay is going to work once it recrosses pickup value. One of the example is induction disk type overcurrent relay. This is basically an electromechanical relay. And also we can point out another example such as numerical relay also. There are various applications such as distribution line in power system, then motor protection system, uh, then protection of power equipments against overcurrent. So these are the various purpose of overcurrent relay. Once the load is added, definitely the value of current, current draws is very much high. So if the uh, current draws are more than pickup value, obviously it is going to operate. If you want to study about overcurrent relay, then you need to understand the operation. To understand the operation, you have to familiar the time current characteristics. As you can able to see, these are the time current characteristics of overcurrent relay. Can you able to go through that? Yes, it is very simple. Uh, definite time overcurrent relay, instantaneous overcurrent relay, inverse time overcurrent relay, then IDMT, inverse definite minimum time overcurrent relay, then very inverse time overcurrent relay, and in continuation, extremely inverse time overcurrent relay. We need to have a brief information about the individual type of time current characteristics that will really help you to understand the overcurrent relay. Moving on to definite time overcurrent relay. What do you mean by definite time overcurrent relay? Can you able to assume? Yes, of course you can assume, you can imagine how definite time overcurrent relay operate. See, in case of overcurrent, in definite time overcurrent relay, uh, there will be always a predetermined time, maybe 5 seconds or maybe 10 seconds. And also, uh, once the load current exceeds its pickup value and once it reaches the predetermined time the relay is going to operate but the main issue is there is poor se uh, selectivity selectivity is very much poor in case of definite time over current relay that means it never bifurcate high fault current and lower type fault current okay so that it works based on only that predetermined time and uh, that particular pickup value that's the main drawback of this particular type of relay so definitely we need to have modification that means operating time of the relay is constant irrespective of magnitude of current now you can able to identify so may, this may be three seconds after three seconds it's going to operate like that and also it is having a pickup value so you can say i pick up pickup current so only this particular time it is going to operate that's a major setback of definite time over current relay and one more uh, variety of a definite time over current relay is available that is called instantaneous over current relay both are almost similar but there is a slight difference in the characteristics it is uh, we can able to bifurcate here an instantaneous relay operates in a definite time when the current exceeds its pickup value almost similar but the characteristic is slight different it is too steep uh, the operating time is very uh, constant in case of instantaneous over current relay you can able to see maybe this may be uh, 
one second or two seconds it is constant operating time is very much constant in case of over current delay that is another uh, type of in, uh, definite time delay now i would like to discuss about the inverse time over current delay there is a slight difference what is a curve called can you see the shape of the curve yes of course it's a hyperbolic curve okay am i right okay here in case of inverse time over current delay uh, definitely there is a pickup value you can see the pickup value okay definitely it operates the relay operates once it crosses the pickup value or pickup current an inverse time over current delay operates when the load current exceeds its pickup value it is very clearly uh, visible after this point only relay is going to operate but the working difference the difference between other type other type of relay such as instantaneous and definite time relay is here you can able to see the magnitude see pickup value you can see the pickup value so here you can able to see the foil current will be very much high if i if it if it if it moves towards uh, the x axis here for example more foil current suppose here foil current is very much high here you can say that operating time is less and uh, like that it is going to operate see the operating time will be directly depending on the magnitude of operating current here magnitude of operating current is very much high therefore we can say that operating time is very much less so both are inversely proportional time and current both are inversely proportional after this particular pickup value that is very clearly visible in this particular diagram i hope you are getting my point now let us move on to uh, inverse definite time relay in case of inverse a uh, definite time relay the thing is it is, it is similar to the inverse uh, over current type relay the thing is in this type of relay give inverse time current characteristics at lower value for lower value it operates just like inverse time uh, current characteristics for lower value of current like this you can see up to this particular region it is very clear the curve is just like a hyperbolic curve but for a uh, high value of all current uh, it operates at a a uh, definite time okay for higher value look at this particular range for higher value of current obviously it is going to operate just like a definite time characteristics that is why it is known as idmt it's a combined inverse time see inverse time over current relay and definite time over current relay it's a hybrid it's a hybrid type uh, relay that is why it is known as inverse time uh, idmt inverse definite minimum time over current relay i hope you are getting my point So, but if you are looking for more selectivity then you can go uh, you can use it uh, very inverse time over current delay it is a modified form of idmt selectivity will be very much high and also we can say that uh, the time current relationship is given in this formula this is required for your competitive examination remember this especially for a uh, very inverse over current delay so selectivity is very much high for higher fault current it will operate very quickly just just like a definite time okay and the extremely inverse time over current delay is also a modified form of very inverse time over current delay where the very inverse over current delay fails you can use it for you can go ahead with the extremely inverse time over current delay here we can able to see that there is a time uh, current relation that is given by i square t will be always a constant so such type of relays are known as extremely inverse time over current relay an extremely inverse over current relay gives a time current characteristics more inverse than that of very inverse and idmt relay it's a modified form for high power application definitely please use it extremely inverse time over current relay especially in substations and all it is more uh, viable when idmt and very inverse uh, type relay fails you can go ahead with uh, extremely inverse time relay it is very clear it gives the steepest time uh, current characteristics i'll show you the diagram see uh, you can look at the extremely inverse time current characteristics the okay, steepest curve is actually very much visible here where idmt can able to see it is not so uh, steepest uh, and uh, very inverse time relay is lies between uh, the idmt and the extremely inverse time relay so anyway we can able to observe the characteristics at a uh, high fault current it is going to operate quickly and uh, for lower range it will work just like a inverse current delay and uh, extremely inverse time over current delay is suitable for especially the protection of machines against overheating suppose if the load current is high definitely uh, it results for overheating and these are the characteristics you can able to remember you can able to make a comparison between idmt very inverse and extremely inverse time uh, relay do you have any clarification if you are having any clarification please put a comment thank you These are my rough.